So this is the goal of this game. We are going to pick the worst possible cap that we can determine in our open. It's not random cap challenge, it's worst cap challenge. Okay, first of all, on this board, I'm going second last. So the best cap would be something like that or that. Maybe you just take the, the red kill guard even. I like all of those caps. I think Arabia sucks. I actually think, okay, there was a Reddit post recently about what the worst cap spot is. And I actually said Arabia. Um, now on this board, Arabia gets actually a little bit better because of this, this blizzard. But I, I do still think Arabia totally, totally sucks. So this is where my my pick is for worst possible cap. Speezer says, Donat's best? Yeah, well, that's okay. So we would take uh, the opinion of the audience here. Where do we think is the worst possible cap? Because I'm thinking it's here. Well, maybe it's on a one. A one might be terrible as well. Cap behind red. Iceland? North Africa? Okay. Question for North Africa. I think Russia's... Oh, this one? Yeah, this one's up. That's a bad capital. Which one? Up in the corner in Scandi? Yeah, also bad. We got a bunch of bad caps, folks. Top left noob corner. No, nah, no, nah, that's a good cap. Iceland OP, what do you mean? Finland's pretty bad here. Yeah, Finland is terribly bad. Right inside a corner. All right, folks, it's time to choose. I like Arabia too, Kyle. I like Arabia too, as the worst capital on the board. Hwapa. <laughs> we play in like a noob today. Why do you think Red's going to bot out? What makes you say that? No one capped noob corner? I guess not. We're still going to play the game properly. Okay, green wants Africa. Where does blue want to be? Noob no more disagrees with the cap choice. Not the worst, only black can see it. And he goes after me. The other one territory caps in Africa were much worse. Like this one? This one kind of locks this pocket up nicely, though. On a one front. As long as it doesn't get rolled, turn one. <laughs> Red's going to realize I'm behind him. <laughs> Might as well take Iceland turn one? Yeah, I feel you. Oh, I don't mind getting rolled turn one. That was part of the challenge. Getting rolled turn one, definitely part of the challenge. Still Red's cap with slow rolls? Yeah, that's a great... Why didn't I think of that? Stealing a cap! Oh, sh <laughs> that didn't work. Maybe white lets me hold that? Yeah, of course. That's the hope. <laughs> Black's not even taking his cap back. What the f***? Oh, yeah, he is. Good work, Black. Proud of you. My Iceland, though. Can you say the thing? You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yes, Tomu, I can. Europe advanced progressive capitals. Would you like me to do it with a little more oomph? We do the Mongolian throat stinging style. E Europe advanced progressive capitals. Damn, even better live. Oh, baby. Red's like, oh, shit. There's a cap in there. <laughs> Is this Nogless Nog? Enjoying myself a fine mango rum with lychee. Throw on some chest thumping? Yes. Have you said the Mongolian throat singer who sang country music on American Idol was great? He doesn't speak English. Does he speak Mongolian? Now I have Sevastopol. I cannot lose! This is You're hanging out with Rum Pete at the moment, yes. His name is Robert Paulson. Uh, hit the red cap. Smackarino time. Not to be confused with Coffee Pete, who's way less fun. F that guy. Does Black know Red's caps there yet? And he does now. Does Rum Pete turn into Tequila Pete? You know, I've never liked tequila, Chris. It, one of the things about it uh, is, I don't know if you guys know this, but it comes from a cactus. Who the f*** eats cactus liquor? I'm a beer guy. Exactly. <laughs> the quench is nice. It makes Pete's clothes fall off? What? My clothes fall off on their own. Thank you very much. Well, you want me to take my top off, war criminal? Wow. Hit him, Red. Break him. Break his bone eye. He does. He breaks. He breaks Black. Yes. The double break arena. Yeah. Sorry, Black. You get to taste dick. Oil it up, Pete. I'll be there in five minutes. Now Red just has to card skip. I, th I thought we were saying that Red's going to bot. I love pussy, but I'd pay money for Pete's OF. What if there was pussy on it? 
Would that change the equation? You know who else loves pussy? Am I? I'd pay extra. Oh, baby. <laughs> Tell me Black quits. <laughs> Poor guy. Inarius, what happened? Oh, he's still playing. He's going to retake his shit? Yeah. Does Kilton make guest appearances with the Nanners? Squish. Dem. Nanners, folks. Pete, do you watch like Peter Griffin on Family Guy? Oh, yeah, I enjoy Family Guy. I haven't watched in a while, but yeah. Somebody break green? Nope. Nobody broke green. Green is going to win this game. At least I'm about as far away from green as possible. On the other side of the world. Green is snowballing out of control. Hey, Mon more Mongolian throat singing. Let's go. Is red getting anything? Yeah. Just a little bit, though. Another smack on black. Mm, doesn't break black's other bonus. Interesting. We'll let black hold. One shot says, even if the dick pic is unsolicited, once they see it, it's never unwanted. Only solicited one shot. You know the rules. I want to go to Mongolia. Okay, so Black holds a bonus. They immediately try to address Green, who's enormous and going to kill everybody. What type of language is Mongolian? Is it related? Is, is it a um, Sino Tibetan, right? Map of where Mongolian is spoken. Geographic distribution. Mongolian language in Inner Mongolia. Where's the ling lingual history? Language family Mongolic. Okay. So Mongolic language family, Mongolic people, distribution, Proto-Mongolic comes from where? Uh, developed into Middle Mongol. An exception would be the common Mongolic pluritative voice suffix. Proto-Mongolic. Okay. What type of language is Proto-Mongolic? What type of language is proto Mongolic. Hypothetical ancestor to the very close to Middle Mongol, which was the language of Genghis Khan. We actually don't have a we don't have a phylogenetic tree for this language. It's not a Slavic language, that's ridiculous. It's Sino-Tibetan, right? Yeah, Sino-Tibetan. That's what I thought. Okay. Sorry, I'm really interested in language history. Why does white have no troops on a scout? Oh, okay, he does. Should I just punish black some more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> that was my baroness there. <laughs> okay. Green's actually letting him hold. <coughs> what color am I playing? I don't know. <laughs> what color do you think I'm playing? Yeah, that's what I would do if I were you, Black. That's what I would do. Hit it. Schmack it. You can afford six troops. You know you can. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, would you look at that, folks? Black's upset that I'm letting greed win the game. And I feel like everyone is now on the same team. And that team is let's let green win the game. My six, though. No. No! Just kill guard me in Sevastopol! Just kill guard me, bro! Just kill guard me, bro! Hello there! Yeah, leave like a 10 stack. Oh, it'll be fine. Ah, sh Is there a Reggie Cam? No, he's not in the chair. And now you're removed from the position. Yeah, see? He's not in the chair. Sabita, I've been thinking. What do you think about God? Oh, God. Don't get me started, sir. Don't get me started. We don't want to get started down to that train. Well, I guess you're not there either, Black. Remove my position. I remove yours. Fuck. Oh. What should I learn off this game? Don't you know? You should not be here to learn, my friend. That's what YouTube is for. We take ourselves more seriously on YouTube. Uh, Mongolian throat blowjob. Singing techno. I like that techno shit. Mongolian throw techno by Umet Ozcan. Dude, this Umet Ozcan fellow. How do I spell his name? I'm going to fuck it up. Umet. 
Oz can. Yes, let's go. We have an Umet Oz can album, perhaps. I know, and I'm shitting on this guy for for his singing voice, and yet here we are. Uh, Fifty six minutes of a live DJ set. Let's go. Ooh. You know what would be cool if this guy had a didgeridoo? Okay. And blue's on the ropes. Black actually still holding something, which is remarkable. Red doesn't. Red is no bono. <laughs> Red sues me. Red's pissed at me. Red's pissed at me because I can't behind him. <laughs> Low, taste my dick. Oh, taste it. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> I love this. Red. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's very interesting. No, not second capital, new capital. <laughs> new, <laughs> new, we are upgrading. We are not trying to hold two capitals on this board. <laughs> no, he can, have, he can have the one. He can have that one back there. I will trade Arabia for Istanbul when offered. <laughs> How many minutes are we in this game? 26 minutes. This game is about to end with a green snowball, but I'm getting the sense that green isn't very good and he isn't pushing his advantage. <laughs> oh, now he is. We're seeing some poppy, poppy time from black, from green. I'm assuming it's a black. <sighs> Ah, uh, smell you later, Blue. I survived longer than Blue. Peter, who didn't you lally the other players? Are you? I War Criminal was like, I'm taking vodka shots every time I don't understand something. And now, strangely, his typing becomes incoherent. Correlation is not causation. I think you're drunk. He says, ah, <laughs> yes, Red, yes. Oh, he bought it. Oh, spicy! Very interesting. Why didn't you ally the other player? Hey, man, if I could ally anyone in this game, I'd be playing a different game. I'm surprised green hasn't won yet. All right, deadly. You're going to kill red? Who predicted that red would bot it? I believe it was Leona. I believe it was Leona who predicted that. Yes. Green is, green is not only still alive, green is winning this game. I believe it was Leona. Yes. <laughs> Leona dubs for sure, man. I fucked that guy so hard. <laughs> Black's going to be like, wait a minute. Why is Pete there? <laughs> <laughs> Kill me. Do it now. He's thinking about it. Just kill me, man. I deserve it. I've been a dick to you all game. I'm sorry I tried to steal your capital turn one. Just kill me. You know. Oh. Oh, he shows clemency. I do not have a set. My only line to a set is by killing red. Green's still getting f uh, 36 now. Okay, second to 50. Someone's got to be dying. Bro, what the fuck is diazonium salt? I do not know. But I assume it's relevant in organic chemistry. One more, one more, one more, one. Yeah! All right. Can white is a is white a bad enough dude? 
I want to be at this party. Oh, it's just going to kill me in the process. I don't blame you. Oh, doesn't do it. I didn't do it. Ladies and gentlemen. If he doesn't check. <laughs> Who knows, right? If he doesn't check. <laughs> what if he doesn't check? <laughs> what if he doesn't check, guys? <laughs> Pete, how are you alive? I don't luck. <laughs> dumb, dumb play by my opponents. Focus says, uh, thank you for the bit, sir. Sea urchins are a common form of oceanic life consuming vast amounts of algae and propelling themselves along the seafloor with their tiny spines. They are known to conquer and overwhelm many marine systems with their kelp eat strategy. Kelp eat. I remember I, uh, my, uh, my honeymoon with uh, my ex-wife, we went to Belize and I remember we did a little snorkeling uh, off the beach there and I, I stepped on a sea urchin um, and uh, so the thing about sea urchin spines is they're they're like a splinter except they're um, made of uh, shell instead of wood right so they they crumble kind of when you pull them they have backwards facing barbs if you guys ever seen oh he doesn't break me <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> that, you're not gonna like you're not gonna like keeping me alive gentlemen um sea urchin spines have <laughs> whoops oh no i'm the cucaracha now <laughs> so sea urchin spines have backward facing barb and can i get a cross section i'll show you they kind of like embed themselves in your foot um, such that you can't pull them out. And I went to Jamaica after Belize and thankfully it was like in the arch of my foot. So can't really see the, can't really see the cross section of the spine, but look at this poor bastard. He like got, fucked. he got fucked in the hand. I got fucked in the foot. It was foot rape folks. It wasn't pleasant. Black's trying to car block me. You mother or black how F how dare you try to card block the peatman for shame i'm offended that the guy whose cap i tried to roll turn one is now trying to make me lose the game i'm offended one thing about sea urchins though they're very delicious all right we got a question from andrick hello andrick andrick 2b says first time watching the stream happy to say i'm enjoying it any tips for a beginner intermediate player yes nothing but my friend Uh, like what to look for starting out and when to turn on your allies to win. I feel like I play too aggressive, helping out sometimes too passive. Okay. Do you play, what settings you play? Andrick. I can help you with that. This just kills me. Nobody's even trying to address green or what the f King Nastro 93. Hey Pete, recently found you on YouTube. Thanks. You've improved my risk game. I'm glad to hear it. I do try, sir. I do try. Yeah, it depends on your settings, my friend. If you tell me your settings, maybe I can give you something actionable. Where is green? Like here. Green's not trying to not stalemate this game. I haven't fixed. I haven't tried to play aggressive. So Classic Fixed has a bunch of sort of levels to it. Um, once you understand the technical... Um, yeah, just break me. Just break me. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Yeah. Uh, you got to break me, man. I'm not going to take my last cap card. Maybe he doesn't care about a plus seven anymore. Um, 
Classic Fix has like levels to it. So the base level of Classic Fix is Bad Neighbor. Uh, I'm only up for me in Fuck Everybody Else, which is a shit fest and everyone just hits each other. And it comes down to who has good dice in the end. Um, the second level of Classic Fix is Good Neighbor, where um, you understand that in a free-for-all game, if any extra troops generated by you uh, are used on your opponents instead of you, then they are actually a benefit to you. Um, and then the third level of Classic Fix is like something like Champ and Phil have um, pioneered, right? It's like actual classic fix theory with positioning and correct play for correct play for South America position, uh, the deadliest trap, all sorts of things. I have the classic fix playlist. So that would be where I would recommend you go next. Uh, happy to link it to you. Um, and I know it's a bit of a cop out answer to be like, Hey Pete, do you have any tips? And then all I give you is a fucking playlist, but you can appreciate that I am in, I am in the business of selling you risk theory. So, and, it, and it's not going to cost you a dime. My classifix playlist now has 184 episodes on it. I've been doing this one since what's the, when did the first one come out? I'm super curious to know classic fixed the traditional form of risk. Uh, first episode of fixed Friday is from three. Years ago, this is wild, folks. I'm very happy to share it with you, and your most folks in the chat understand. And I doubt you've seen all 184 episodes. You actually watch me get significantly better, too, right? I wasn't a classic fix GM for the first third of the series, quarter of the series, something like that. So, uh, holy shit, almost 100k subs on YouTube. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're crossing the line, baby. We're crossing the line, folks, at the time of shooting. We are exactly 100 subs off on YouTube. For the 100K. Ultimate says, I think I've come close to watching that whole play as well. Folks have been around for, you know, three years, perhaps. Peter, you must oil up. Just break my bonus. It's fine. You deserve a bonus, sir. Oh, oh, he's being friendly. What a gentleman. Does he want a cap card, maybe? You want a cap card? I know you want a cap card. I know you want a cap. You want all the cap cards? Are me and white homies? Is that what this game turned into? He got a vasectomy for last week's Fix Friday. No, no, I got a vasectomy so I could fuck girls raw and not get the pregnant. Wait, did I say that out loud? <laughs> I got a vasectomy because I didn't want unwanted children is the mature adult response to that. Pete, have you practiced round two of the FFA? No, but they look better than round one. Pete's going to get canceled for what? The fuck am I get canceled for? <laughs> I didn't say anything risque there at all. It was sexual content. Dude, why does this guy have twice my troops? What the fuck? I need another. No, don't take your cap cards. I gave them to you so you would have them in the late game. Dude, this fucking, this show slaps. Time for you to clap some cheeks and win this war. Eh? It's a four-player stalemate. So it is up to the other people. I am the weakest of the four. I'm surprised Green didn't win the game. If I was Green, I would have won the game. Open Black's cap to white. <laughs> By hitting a 30? <laughs> By randomly hitting a 30 I can't hit? I bet you can bench more than your opponents. Yeah, but I mean, fucking video game nerds. Like, I'll pat myself on the back. For not being a massive dork. Spoiler alert. Check out my Captain Jean-Luc Picard action figure. Green should have won 800 by now. Indeed. All right. We see motion. What are you guys fucking yawning about? Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Yawn more. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Just smack me, Black. You know I pissed you off all game. Ooh, yes. Smackarino. 
keep going. You know you want to. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. But my bonus, though. Not my bonus. Uh, now nah, these guys want to open up the shite Arabia cap. <laughs> this guy is insisting on car blocking the paint men. Hey, dude, Zulvato. Funky beats, indeed. This is Mongolian funky beats. Now, White's the homie. White's not popping my shit. Thank you, sir. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Hello there! Okay, he finds the back capital. Do you want it? You want it? I'll get, dude, I will give it to you. You think I want Arabia? Take it. I can take it. I don't care. I don't need Arabia. Arabia blows. It blows. It blows like hot, smelly turds. I'm actually quite offended that this fucking black player is being all like, ooh, I'm a car block the Pitman. As if. As if I'm going to let myself get a car block, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what's up, I, Callan? Hello. First time casting stream. Welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in. Why am I breaking his 30? Because I don't need to yet, right? I'm still getting cards. Right? I, I'm in a situation where this is my last capital card. When and if I have to take it, then I will attempt to reposition myself. <laughs> but until I do, please, can you take black capital on Serbia? <laughs> Probably not, my friend. Probably not. Yes. Is it open? Yeah. I mean, if I had the troops, I could go like this. Suffice to say, Black has done a piss poor job of card blocking the pavement. And also, I'm not really worried about anyone taking Arabia because it sucks. So this is the secret advantage of the shit cap. Is my name Pete or Peter? Everyone who, everyone's name who's Pete is named Peter. Just popped in. Can someone tell me where the other three caps are? No, we cannot. Um, there are one, two, three, four, and I don't know where green or blues caps were what are you drinking i'm enjoying some rum ice lychee and mango nectar i also enjoy the audacity the audacity of black to presume that he can car block the payment i mean really what an attempt what an adorably simple he thinks he thinks this man's tried to sue my capital turn one he's obviously a noob Little does Black know. Maybe he does. Maybe he knows he's on stream. Shout out to Anarius from the Netherlands. I actually don't hate your play at all, sir. So far, I think you've played amazing, given the circumstances. I'm only partially trying to antagonize him. You just dodged a 69 cap. We lost. Oh, don't worry. I'll throw, I'll throw some troops on it. How you doing, CPA? Having a good day? It's so over? I don't think so. I don't think it's over at all. I think we're <laughs> we've only begun to fight. Come on, Green, lose your patience. <laughs> the IRS don't know I evade taxes. Well, they do now. How you doing? I like your play, just not on me. I like his play in general. I like his play in general. I really think the um, the black player is a lot better than I gave him credit for initially. I think the black player is actually. I think the black player is actually the best player in this lobby. Right? Green obviously sucks because if Green didn't suck, uh, he would have won already. And white is probably somewhere in the middle. White's being a cool, like white's being a homie to, um, me, which I love. I guess white maybe thinks I suck. So he's white simping. You think? Okay, so you think white is is sniping, but in a favorable way. Black is sniping in a in a more fair way, or maybe black isn't even sniping. White broke the car block. Yeah, I I, I think he's on my side too. I do. But anyway, shout out to Deadly from Japan. You're a homie. Until you're not. Until you just randomly get sued. It's like, ah, I want to do something else now. <laughs> I think so, too. I think so, too. If if you were white and you were playing to win, you would let black card block me. Well, maybe not. I mean, I did give him. Okay. Counterpoint, though. I gave him capital cards and he gave them back. So maybe white just isn't good or isn't as good. I don't know. It's a very good day, sir. To ram dingle what does that mean we should ask kyle hey kyle what does ram dingle ah 
War Criminal would like to know. Oh, shit. All right. Green knows he's here, too. All right. Excellent. His wife knows. Sni Sniper's wife knows? Oh, shit. Will somebody like to share that with the rest of the class? Pete, who are you in Star Trek shop? What Star Trek shop? Like the replicator? Beep, 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 beep. Dude, you got to stop twitching and drinking, my friend. You're becoming unintelligible. Pete is the ship. I am Captain Jean Luc Picard of the Federation Starship Enterprise, okay? Okay? Man. I cannot believe this game stabilized and I didn't die. <laughs> Make it show. All right, Deadly, what are we going to do to card block this board? Ah, we got a plus two on our Arabia cap, but it's no longer a 69. That's that's better. What are your thoughts on Voyager or Deep Space Nine? I think, I know this is controversial. I think Deep Space Nine edges out. Next Generation is the best syndicated Star Trek television show of all time. I said it. I think it. It's what I believe. And I love Next Gen. I grew up with Next Gen. I love, love, love Next Gen. It's a great show. It's near and dear to my heart. I think Deep Space Nine is better. And I think Deep Space Nine is better for this specific reason, okay? The bulk of the main cast got involved in the production. Most of the main cast members directed episodes. Avery Brooks is a fucking thespian, right? Like, he loves the art of acting. Listening to that man talk about acting is next level. Um... They loved the show and you can tell, but reason number two, and more importantly, they progressed. So this was the era at the end of the nineties where middle nineties, late nineties, where television was progressing from a uh, single standalone episodes, episodic format to longer series, long story arcs. Uh, I know Babylon five was one of the first TV shows to do that. Um, and Deep Space Nine started out episodic like Next Gen, but then transitioned to having the Dominion War and having, you know, these great epic story arcs and like, oh, he's helping. Holy shit. I love you, White. Um, so Next Gen is very, very close to my favorite. So Next Gen is like, okay. I was born in 1983. Star Trek The Next Generation premiered in 1987. I started watching it a couple years after. So let's say after Riker grew his beard, right? Season three, season four, it's on television. I attended the Star Trek Next Generation series finale with my mother at Skydome in Toronto. Um, this is where the Blue Jays still play. <laughs> Black, Black Kim's always like, well, if he's not going to help me card block him, I guess I'm... So... <laughs> <laughs> so I loved next generation. So for me to say that I think deep space nine is better is controversial and it's a big statement. Um, but I think it's a better show. And as far as Voyager, eh, Star Trek Voyager is fine. I'm glad there's more Star Trek, right? I loved enterprise. I wish enterprise got five seasons, six seasons, seven seasons. They only got four. <laughs> It, was it three or four? How many seasons are on uh, Star Trek Enterprise? You were drunk? Nah. Oh, War Criminal. Yeah, War Criminal is definitely... Jad Z attacks the best axe? I don't know about that. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to take the Dax Pepsi Challenge. Are you ready? Contestant number one. Played by Terry Farrell. We have Jadzia Dax. Fictional character. Now, without a doubt, very beautiful woman, okay? Married Worf, in fact. 
married Commander Worf. Now, if it was then and there, we would say, yes, fine Dax. But best Dax, there is another contender. And that's Esri. And we only got to see Esri for one season. Played by Nicole DeBoer. Esri Dax. Now, can we forgive the short hair? I know it's disgusting. Okay? I know it. You know it. Vegetable lasagna knows it. Obviously, see how much better she looks with actual hair? But if we can put that aside for a minute, I believe that Esri Dax is the superior Dax. And I know that's also controversial in the annals of Star Trek uh, fandom. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Seems like pass. Has <laughs> Wade finally had enough? Oh, White just wants more cap cards. <laughs> Lol, anal. <laughs> she looks like urethra sounds. You don't like her, Steve? You know what's funny to me, man? Is that everybody... Everybody likes different flavors, right? How is this possible? Yo, Kyle, do you see that? How is that possible? What is your favorite friendly Ferengi uh, law of... What's it called? Rules of acquisition, it's called. Is Green actually doing something finally? What is the better space-themed board game? One, Battlestar Galactica, or... I've actually played that. For a fantastic list of flavors, I suggest the song Ice Cream by Raekwon. I will really enjoy... We are really enjoying this Mongolian throat singing rave. Actually, uh, CPA, sorry. Pretty good. Robo's, Robo's enjoying it. <laughs> ah, White staying homeless, Maximus. So White wants to go. I think White just wants a longer show. Well, it's like, I get to hang out with Pete. Uh, oh. Black. Come on, bruh. You, you're going to keep trying? Come on, bruh. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. What's my favorite ice cream flavor? Um, what is my favorite ice cream flavor? Like I liked Rolo, Rolo ice cream, pralines and cream, something like that. Like sugary nuts, maybe some chocolate. You know, pistachio gelato is really good. And Green is finally figuring out where I capped originally. Nope, didn't see it. Do you think progressive would be more fun if the bonuses given for holding territories was progressive too? No, I think fix would be more fun. Um, I think progressive would be more fun if the bonuses for the cards was progressive. So what we need to happen is instead of it increasing by five troops per set, it needs to increase as a percentage of the previous set. So if the sets always increased in a predictable percentage, uh, kills would always stay viable at every size. So games would be far less likely to stalemate. Uh, Nathaniel Vora. Hello. Yo, what's up? First time to being here. Love your YouTube vids. What's up, Nathaniel? Welcome to the stream, man. Okay, wait, no. Don't quit, wait. We need you. Wait, no. Yeah. 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 No. My homie. Kyle says exact number would take work to figure out what a percentage would be dope. Yeah, if, if you just shortcut it by using a percentage, it's fucking right. Perfect. I never take that Iraq cap card either now. 
I don't think White has betrayed. I think White has probably taken a piss. Now, we're going to go out on a limb here. And we're going to say White required uh, the use of the bathroom, and he'll be back. He's t- he's far too deadly to lose a risk game because he had to take a piss. Am I right? I do think progressive bonuses would be fun. Don't get me wrong. I don't mean to shit on your idea. What I'm saying to you is it would certainly be fun. Um, and as I always like to say with this sort of thing, the more options are better than less. So it'd be way fun. Let's do it. Give me all the options, right? Uh, as he left, is he going to start taking cards? Do we have a bot out, folks? Oh, no. Wait, we needed you. No. 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 Ooh. Darude? Are we doing Sandstorm? Bro, I want to say bye because I love your stream and the Mongolian music, but I have a bit of a headache now because you've been drinking vodka, my friend. Yes, the Vadi. The Vadi gotcha. Well, I've been enjoying your company, you too, brother, so. Yes, drink some water, please, and enjoy, uh, enjoy this, enjoy the studying. Mm. Oh, wow, we got the PRT raid, hello, 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 who's in? Hudson, were you the streamer? What is up, Hudson Hornet? What is up, PRT Raiders? Hey, Mamba, hey, Truth Powers, everyone is here, fuck yeah, guys, how you doing? Johnny, take it easy. What's up, Cecil? How are you doing today? You were the broadcaster? How are you, Truth? I <laughs> I loved that game yesterday. The third game of KPO for you. When you were just like so sure. You're like, nah, fuck it. They all bought it out. I'm winning this game. And you got like embarrassed. It's like, don't be embarrassed. You were in the zone, man. You're like super focused. Right? I admire that focus. I think that's a very cool attribute to have right so you shouldn't be embarrassed about that at all you squeaked out prt game three good for you man this is uh what's it called this is march madness i won i won my uh what game two march madness i think i don't remember yeah i won game two but only because only by a thin margin then again i lost game one to bullshit so you know what What is happening with the white player? <laughs> I'm part timer as trash. That's jokes. How you doing, Rumble? Thank you for the uh, thank you for the sub there, man. I think white has become bot. Yes, indeed. Ooh, this is fun. At this point in the YouTube video, I would change the playback speed to 1.5 or higher. At this point? <laughs> We've been at this for an hour and 10 minutes already. It's now just become a chill vibe out to Mongolian techno. And enjoy the ride, folks. I think Black begins to card block. I think Black continues to fail to card block me, but I bet you he keeps trying. Your videos are fun to watch on high speed. Thanks, man. How far ahead is Green? Not really. Like, Green's got a ton of troops, but, you know, it's caps. So Green didn't leverage his advantage to win the game, which tells me that he doesn't know how. So I'm not afraid of Green. I am more afraid of Black because at least Black has tried to card block me, whereas Green has just been a big derp and let the game stalemate not leverage his advantage. All right, green would like some vision. Any reason why you let blacks to see you? What do you mean? Why I let black to see me? What? See me what? Oh, um, so this is so that he'll give me cards 
and this is so that I have a remaining capital card. So when you're playing prog caps in the late game, one of the things you really want to count is how many cap cards do you have? Because your caps are generally stronger. Now, a 69 cap isn't super strong, but my third, this is my, Greece is my last guaranteed unblockable card before, um, you know, I have to start doing something even more creative. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep a capital that doesn't have as easy of a chance for my opponents to card block it. So they just give up and they hit each other instead. <laughs> Open 10 yes as a cap isn't super, is, a 69 cap isn't the strongest. See, if anything I was going to say, <laughs> this stream is going to get me canceled. It's that. Give me a card, give me a card, give me a card. Cannot yet. Yeah, we're still playing a bit of the waiting game. Thamsey says, have you heard about the band called Destat? It's definitely worth listening to the song Witch Doctor. The band is kind of sick, bit of prodigy vibes, right on. Uh I see, so you keep it more bordered for a harder card. Yeah, it makes it harder for me to get card blocked. Now, you don't necessarily want to have too many capitals because then your opponents might get the, the sense of rolling it. So right now we're in a uh, three-player stalemate with one bot. White is a bot. Green has been the strongest player all game. Black has attempted... I fucked with black in the open. So black has attempted to fucking card block me. White broke it and then bought it. So now, um, you know, my ability to win this game will hedge on... Um, my ability to continue to take cards and eventually they will hit each other or block each other or both. Black is doing exactly what I would be doing in this situation. So I know black is a great player. Right, I respect Black's play a lot so far. I have no respect for Green because Green has had advantage all, all game and done absolutely fuck all with it. Bot seems to be blocking everything. Well, blocking is a relative term. So important to remember, what is the value of a card right now? So right now we're seeing it. The sets are 220. So you want a third of 220. So each card is worth 70-ish troops. Something like that. 75 troops. 73 troops. Bingo. Cool. So I do arithmetic quickly and inaccurately, but I, I when I need to do it accurately, it takes me forever. Um, Space Goat says, I think totally War Criminal is bought in. Yeah, that's who it was. You think that's who it was? <laughs> he got drunker and drunker. <laughs> Could have been. Could have been, man. I can't listen. I can't stop it. I would obviously choose to play a fair game if I could, guys, okay? I just want you to understand my position on this. I'm in a bit of a complicated spot. Uh, hey, Pete, I won my first round matchup. Only four of us. But one was a master, another was a GM. Watching video streams helped a lot. I'm happy to hear it, my friend. Hey, Pete, what is hedging and what is attrition? Uh, a hedge is like a hedge fund, right? A hedge is a term where we mitigate risk. Hedge Hedging is a metaphor for risk mitigation. So sometimes you will place a bet on either side of a scale so that you can't lose as big net. That's what hedging is. Um, what was the other term I use? Attrition. Attrition is when you and someone else kill each other and mutually, it's mutual destruction. Attrition is when um, someone hits you, you hit them back, they hit you back, you hit them back. It tends to escalate to mutual demise. That's how I would define both of those terms. Good to know? Yeah. I, I mean, I hope I did the terms justice. 
How do you hedge in risk? Um, well, so <laughs> the game is called risk. So a lot of playing risk well is managing probability. So what is the likelihood of any given roll? What is the likelihood of any given kill? What is the likelihood of any given play? And once you figure out that... You can also figure out, if that doesn't work, then what is my next best option? Dude, he still has fucking 200 fucking troops up here. Get Step off! Step off your camp, man. All right, now I gotta pee. Bruh. Bruh. Okay, he finally stepped off a little more. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Still waiting for Smackerino time, folks. How you doing? Tofro Mao. Meow. How are you? <laughs> Nugget says, technically, you could use a wet fact to go, what? <laughs> Nugget. <laughs> it's very distracting. My cat shit in my shoes. What should I do? Um, Is he constipated? Are they uh, very hard, small poops? So I I had um I had an issue where um I assumed that it was trying to the that Reggie was trying to send me a message, right? I assumed he was mad at me by pooping in a place that he wasn't supposed to. Um no, like all all jokes aside, like we can make funny jokes about the cat shooting your shoes and that's ha ha ha, but it could be a medical concern that you might want to address. So if you, I assume you love your cat, I love mine. Um cats I didn't even know can get very constipated. So if the quality of, of his poops aren't, you know, a reasonable kind of, um, <laughs> if they're too dry or too hard or too small, uh, you might realize that you can add wet food to his diet. You can add a uh, human laxative. So restore lax like we would use, um, in very, very small doses, uh, someone clipped this. Hey, man, I'm sure it's hilarious and also helpful um, because that's a, actually kind of a problem, right? You don't, I don't know, maybe you have kids in your house. Um, you definitely don't want to live in the cat shit house. I don't want to live in the cat shit house. So, so something you might consider is if you don't want to go to the vet about this, you want to take the anecdotal opinion of some schmuck on the internet um, or, you know, talk to the vet. But if you don't want to spend whatever really expensive. if you don't want to buy your vet a seventh yacht here here's what could be happening right cat could be constipated and then uh that would be the methodology behind figuring out if that was a true and then b what to do about it uh incorporate more wet food in their diet and then um consider do you think he took the cap Green took it. Green took it. Okay. Now I'm in kind of trouble. Okay, I took my final cap card off you simple and I didn't get this, which I really, really wanted. So look at this, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fucking cap cards. Green has it now. We already know green is a piece of shit player because he should have won this game 
and he failed to do so. So we know green sucks. The question now becomes, he's good enough to take this capital. Did he take it because it's just another capital or did he take it because it's the best capital on the board? My capitals suck and I'm going to be in big trouble soon unless I do something creative. Thamsey says, black is in one position though. You would have to hit a big white sack or your cap card if he was removed from the pocket behind you. Yeah, I could f him over, I guess. Yeah, I don't actually hate that play. But then I remove my... Uh, then I eliminate my other cap card, so... Stop trying to card block me, dude. I'm not going to let you card block me, right? I don't suck. So if you stop trying to card block me, we can work together on green, maybe. Can you hear me? Do you want to cheat at risk? I didn't fucking say ready up to this lobby with anyone who could fucking hear me talk. So I'm not getting my fucking account banned. I'll tell you right now. You're trying to fucking card block me like I don't know how to get out of it. I don't think he's, I don't think he knows I'm here. I think he's underestimating me. We can see four caps. We know where the last two are. We know that there's one here. No, that was a previous game. I actually don't think I know where the other two caps are. Does anyone know where the other two caps are? I'm right. We've never seen the other two, correct? Is there a Scotland cap? No. Have a jaunt? No. Noob Corner is entirely free of caps. How's this game still going? Because nobody's attempting. I am the weakest player, so I'm not attempting to push any advantage because I don't have one, right? This game's okay. Short answer. This game's still going because green fucking sucks and he doesn't know how to win the game. You see a guess, Kenny? I like that. It's a good guess. Can he have a joint? No, no, I don't, uh, don't imbibe a lot of marijuana. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll give you a cap card if you give me more. Oh, oh, we're smack. It's smackerino time. Hello. Is it a smackerino time? Perhaps green gets pissed off. If I'm green, I'm putting all my troops out there. That cap is gold. That cap is fucking gold. Okay, 900 over there. My guess is green is one, uh, 1.3, 1 1.4 times my size. Hey, what's up, Polly? Polly Dramas, how you been? Robo says, I like the Gaskin he gets for where he stopped attacking right on. Yo, Robo, also congrats on making GM, bro. I'll be sure to uh, remind you the next time the GM tournament signups happen. Are you going to come join uh, Competitive Risk, sir? Is it, yo, Robo, are you in the, uh, are you in FFA this season? White is a, is a bot, yeah. When is the GM tournament? I don't know. Thanks, man, and I'm down to play? Good. I figured you would be. Uh, we want to take a look on Gascony? Okay, so the guess is there. We found one. Okay, so we've mapped out a fifth capital, folks. One, two, three, four, and five. I would bet you this is uh, Green's original. So you guys understand this was mine. This was reds. This was blacks. This, I'm guessing, is green. This was whites, and we don't know where blues would have been, but it's probably a noob corner adjacent. It probably is like... Blue died to green, so my guess is that green snowballed like this and then went hua. Yeah, green just removes it from the position. No, he doesn't. Green wants me to trade cards with him. I'll open up your other cap. I don't give a shit, dude. Why are you why are you hitting shit? What the fuck is your plan? He's trying to keep the bot in. He's trying to keep the bot in one part of the board. But if you if you're good, he's he moves quickly and decisively. But if he's good, why didn't he win? This is the part I'm still confused about. Oh, but still says Gaskiny. Uh yeah, I mean I I I think it might be Denmark or something. Maybe not. We're guessing Gaskiny. Okay, it's Gaskiny time. Green doesn't care about trading. He's just bad, you think? 
There isn't a lot of white left. There is a lot of white left. Don't kid yourself. All right, we might as well figure out where the last cap is. Okay, no, you're right. It isn't because we know there isn't noob corner, so we know it's in. Uh, we know it is like Spain or North Africa. Okay, cool. Gascony is getting a lot more likely. Live subscriber count has you 99,900. I know, isn't that fucking awesome? 100 subs to go on YouTube before I reach the old. So it'll be tomorrow, right? We'll we'll cross the line somewhere tomorrow, maybe the next day. 100K subscribers on YouTube, folks. What, what a fucking blessing and a privilege it is. I love you guys. 100,000 people. Oh, is he fortifying a buttload of troops off? I think he's fortifying a buttload of troops off. If I make 100 more YouTube accounts, will you bless my risk games? I already do, sir. I bless them th through and through. May you only roll sixes for your entire career. <laughs> What's up, Chile? Love you, too. I'm one of the new ones. Love your content. Cheers, man. Welcome to the live stream, my friend. Congratulations. Thank you. It's coming now, eh? First time right here from Portugal. Welcome. How's the back of you? Caralho. Uh, <laughs> what is that small rectangle in Spain? Small rectangle. Small rectangle. I don't know what you mean. All right, open open was correct. We have the six caps. He's talking about the small rectangle in Spain. Oh, that one? Oh, okay. See, I don't always know that I'm being fucked with. James Betta says, I don't mean this in a hateful way, and I tend to agree with most of your opinions about the game. Thank you. But you talked about being willing to work with SMG to improve the game. You talk a lot of shit. Do I? Do I? Do I actually talk a lot of shit? You think I talk a lot of shit about uh, about the game, James? I think the small rectangle is just an artifact from the green screen. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's on my. It's actually in my shot. Ah, I was looking the wrong place. Is the camera? Thank you. It's my camera. So this. It's in the shot. I didn't realize what you guys were talking about. We fixed it. Thank you. Ah, uh, it's because my camera isn't positioned perfectly. So you're, you're looking at my bulletin board. I, I thought I, I thought you guys were f with me. You kind of do. Okay. Well, I mean, perhaps the perhaps the honest nature of the criticism is the tone at which I critique their choices. Right. I could speak with more political language. Is that it? You would prefer that I I I, I do not discuss. The issues with this game with enough politeness to meet your standard of speech. Is that a fair assessment? I'm too I'm too impolite with my with my critiques. I actually want to have this conversation because I do want to help the game, right? And I would love to work with the devs if they would love to work with me. Pete, from all the professional gamers I've seen across many games, your outlook on game issues and lack of dev care has been the most positive. Oh, thank you. Okay, good. So there's a um, there's a psychological nugget um and i don't know what the term is so forgive me if i don't have a, a dictionary definition here but um there's a human bias where we are more likely to treat people who we have done a favor to more favorably right because of an expected reciprocation so where that applies to this conversation is I no longer offer my design ideas to SMG for free. Okay. I offer them to you for free because I am still getting paid, but also I offer them at a cost because I would like them implemented. I do not want to be ignored anymore. It's time we do something about this high time. In fact, we want this game to thrive. All of that is positive language. Okay, we want this game to thrive. We love this game. The fact that we are here and caring about this proves it. The fact that I have 99,900 subscribers on YouTube proves it. 
We could do so much with this game if we were enabled to design it in a way that would appeal to the people it actually appeals to. And I know what appeals to them because I talk to them every day, all the time. I have dedicated the last almost four years of my life playing this game. So if I lack a little bit of politeness in the way I speak about this, I think I can be forgiven. And I think it is obvious that it comes from a place of love and a place of appreciation and a desire to grow this game and grow this community into something massive and wonderful and successful. And the fact that I wasn't listened to for years means I'm going to try a different approach. And my next approach is to say, if you want me to help you design your game i'd love to hire me as a consultant do you think that's better or worse that that style of conversation <laughs> i'm not overly negative on the devs i feel like i am pragmatically realistic right what can we expect them to want to do they want to make money cool how do i convince them that i'm right <laughs> if this evidence doesn't work for you how do i convince you that i know what i'm talking about how many tournaments do i need to win how many subs on youtube do i need to have how many views do i have to host the largest tournament in risk history twice what else do i have to how many like <laughs> what else do i have to do man <laughs> You got me riled, sir. It was a great question. I appreciated it. Oh, thank you, Open Ten. Yeah, for the gifted, my friend. If you pull out the dick, shut up, man. Fucking Johnny. Whoppa. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's why I lose credibility. Is all the dick jokes. <laughs> okay, so I should trade with one of these guys and not trade with the other, right? That's how this game ends. Trust in black. Oh, green's there too. It might be the dick jokes. James Bennett says, based on what I've seen though, SMG has way too many ideas for them to be able to keep up with. Yes, which is again why it would be more efficient to hire a design consultant because they're, uh, they're inundated with, uh, with choice. How are they to know what the best decisions are if they don't play, right? You need a design consultant who plays. That doesn't work. They need to work together. Sure, they don't see an issue because daily, monthly users haven't dropped. Well, Ace says, you may be humble and not think you are one of the best players in the... <laughs> but you're arguably the most popular and have massive reach, so it would benefit SMG. Oh, I agree. Yeah, I agree. No, and I don't... I didn't say I'm not. I'm saying I don't tell you what I think of myself, right? I don't sit here and tell you how good I am. I don't waste my breath on that. I'd much rather show you. That's kind of where I come in on it. I'm not presuming to say I am the best or I'm not the best. I I disengage from that con conversation entirely because I don't think it's productive. Thank you, Troy. Troy Talons. Three months sub. Cheers, man. Seems like it go forever. Well, someone will get card blocked eventually. Could be me. My caps are shit. I did, however, start this game as the shitty cap challenge. So here we are, folks. Shitty cap challenge, Pete, man. Two hours on the clock coming up. Only issue with hiring Pete as a design consultant would mean a lot of dick maps. <laughs> How many hours are we? One hour and 45 minutes. White block may still make go on much longer? Eh. Has the KPO2 finished? No, it has not. Do you know when the finals might likely be? So this is week uh, nine. Next week is week 10, 11, 12. Uh, it'll be the first week of April is when it'll settle, settle up. These vibes are uh, tickling me right in the cajones. Just imagine if I captain this piece of shit. <laughs> Fucking terrible territory. Hey, you guys want to do a Q&A question? All right, what's the next Q&A question? Uh, we got one from Varger. Hello, Varger. All right, Q&A question. Pete. I noticed that you, when you are card swapping during stalemate, you always put four armies on the attacking territory against the one 
defending troop territory. Aren't you afraid that the defender could roll three sixes in a row and deny you a card? Or is there something about bounce with dice doesn't allow this to happen? Oh, <laughs> you're confused. The defender rolls with two dice, not three. Smackerino? There's a cap in there. He's like, oh, there's a cap in there. Thanks, bro. Uh, the defender in risk rolls two. So normal risk rolls are sets of three dice against sets of two dice for the defender. Um, and it, it's highest pair. So the most a defender can uh, kill is two of the attacker, and the most an attacker risks is two. But they get slightly better odds. There is slightly attacker's advantage in risk um, unless you're rolling a capital. Capitals defend with three dice. Uh, so you definitely don't want to roll just four troops into a capital. But if it's only one troop on the cap, you don't get the dice bonus. You actually have to have at least three troops on a capital so they'll defend with three. Um, I hope I answered your question. And the other reason, too, is why we do it. We do it because we don't want to lose. Because balance splits is broken, right? We don't want to lose more than the minimum realistic number of troops to lose and we now got a 420 cap folks we uh we're gonna take the opportunity because we have a 420 cap to uh dab on that if you have your dabs folks please feel free to use them i'm gonna require the power of all of your dabs to win this game so i'm gonna ask you to dig deep and dab with me folks a little dab will do you yabba dabba doobie Ara we got arabia up to 420 Good luck with this game. I'm going to bed. Thank you, Open. <laughs> oh, baby. I missed your question, Pooba. Pooba says, can every viewer type high to give Pete the energy he needs to win this game? Oh, I don't need any energy. It's inevitable. I win based on pure skill, my friend. Pure, unbridled skill. Is it snowing out? Dude, we've had like two days of snow this whole fucking winter. Crazy. All right, bot's moving into the pocket. How much is this bot even getting these days? 16. Bot decided to target the Pima. Said, enough of your shit, Pete, man. Enough of your shit. I'm sick of your shit, Pete, man. Dude, do I have almost the same amount of troops as this guy? All right, let's see if this guy wants... So I, I, I put a sneaky 69 stack in the pocket. Let's see if this guy fucking... Uh... <coughs> <coughs> All right. Have you ever accidentally referred to yourself as the Peatman out in real life, like making a Starbucks order, or your name is the Peatman? Um, where does the nickname come from again? <coughs> Yeah, I think, I mean, I'd not even accidentally. I just call myself the Peepman. It's fine. Peepman. Mr. Peepman. Pete Man! <coughs> what does it mean to be the old Peepman? The old Peepman. Okay, Green's going to try card block blank. I'll let you do it, Green. I don't care. Pete Meow! <coughs> Well, Black's on five now. What a weird-ass game. Puff, puff, pass, cough. Yeah. I had a fucking terrible flu last week, man. Oh, cap card. Oh, another cap card. Would you look at that, folks? What are you listening to? We are currently listening to uh, Umet 
Ozcan presents Time Wave, which is a trance live set. Apparently, uh, <coughs> this man does Mongolian throat singing mixed with techno, which I've been really enjoying the vibe. They're really enjoying. Oh, that's a 3,000. Oh, that's 3,000 drums. Holy shit. Don't kill my shits, Black. Oh, yes, punish the evildoers. Uh, punish. Please punish, yes. Yes, continue to punish. <laughs> Please continue to punish. Came back after hours and cooking, expecting a new game. We're still on the freaking Arabia cap. Oh, you better believe we're on the Arabia cap. No Arabia, no win, folks. Hashtag. No Arabia, no win. And there, I said it. Oh, baby. Am I playing again after? How many more hours do you think this game's going to go? <laughs> We're now hitting two hours on the clock, folks. Arabian Nights. Yes, he took one of the green caps. Oh, sorry, you're suggesting they're going to find themselves in a war of attrition where the Peatman wins? Hey, Stray Lights. If I close my eyes, like an old man stream, the usual Pete get off my lawnisms coupled with an old man cough. Delightful change of pace. <laughs> what a, what a fucking douchey fucking... I love it. <laughs> guys, don't, so mean to me. You guys are so mean. Why don't you be nice to the Peatman? I'm merely a gentle lad. <laughs> Will we see 10 troops on the cap? I certainly hope not. The get off my lawn is a term endearment because we're the same age. Right on, bro. No, I didn't take it. I didn't take it as douchey. I take it as like, what was the thing I took that was like, oh, wow, that was kind of mean. Um, what did you say? What did you say? You said... You said old man cough, I guess. I was like, oh, I am an old man. Fuck. It was more the, you didn't say it in a mean spirited way. It was more the realization that I'm an old fart. <laughs> the sad truth, I suppose. <laughs> you know? And you, don't, and you don't know what you lost until you lost it. That's the other thing, right? Youth is wasted on the young. It's such a, such a true... One of those, uh, oh, did I fuck up my phone? Oh, shit. How did that happen? I broke my phone, uh, screen protector. Oh, how the fuck did that happen? That sucks. I must have dropped it on the floor. Uh, I don't really break things very frequently, so that's why. Uh, okay, so I missed Didia, Apex Legend. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, what is each card worth right now? 340, each card is worth uh, 112 troops. Uh, Capitira. Yo, Pete, seems you like this map. Can you analyze the map? In what way? What would you like me to analyze? I'd be down. Give me, give me a little bit more direction. What, do you, what type of analysis would you like? Arkin says, if you knew you were going to die, but you could listen to one song, watch one film, eat one meal, what are your choices? Uh, listen to one song, uh, at a medium pace by Adam Sandler, uh, eat one meal, pussy, uh, watch one film, some porno. Uh, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. <laughs> As a boss, what do you feel is psychologically important to get across your employees to get them to work hard for you when they are high school age? Um, I don't, I can't speak to high school age these days. I think kids today are likely motivated by all sorts of different expectations. Um, oh, hey, look who it is. Different sources of, ex different expectations, different sources of, of, of value. Look who it is, it's Reginald, Robus Boy, Gage, Reginald, Robus Boy, Gage. Can you do Mongolian throat singing? Are you at a rave in Mongolia? We are at a rave in Mongolia. We are at a rave in Mongolia. We are at a rave in Mongolia. We 
you're at a rave in Mongolia. Hey. Wanna sit on the chair? Come sit with us. Come hang with the stream, buddy. Yeah, come sit. You wanna sit? Mongolian? We are at a rave in Mongolia. Ah, oh, no, he left. Ah, I gotta lose the Joker? Fook. <laughs> Sorry, dude, I was petting the cat. It's Meowngolia, yes. We're Meowngolian. Did I? Okay, so did I? I was in the middle of answering a question. Uh, we answered Arkin's hilarious question. Okay, psychological um, for high school age kids. I think the general rule applies. She smacks it! He smacks it! Hwa hwa! Hwa 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 hwa! Hwa hwa hwa! Ashmakarino time! Okay, so. Um, Leadership is about motivation, fundamentally, okay? If you want to be a good leader, you want to inspire. Money is a great way of inspiring. But there are other cheaper ways. So... Apply the skills of empathy that you've used for this game, right? How do I motivate green? What he's doing right now is to hit black or vice versa. How do I motivate that? Right? Get in their head, empathize, leverage your skill of empathy, a gold star sticker. Yeah. Um, figure out what they want, figure out how to give it to them. Maybe they want an experience where, um, they just have a good time, right? The good vibes hanging out, doing a good job. Maybe they want satisfaction, right? Maybe they had uh, an upbringing where they didn't get praise and all they need is a thank you or the gold star or whatever, right? Um, every person is different. So if you want to build systems, I don't know what level we're talking about as far as leadership, right? But if we're talking about leadership systems, uh, you want to talk, talk about your corporate culture, whatever um, you're trying to actually build. Um, it's important to stop and think about the lived experience in the moment of the people doing the work. And if you were one of them, how would you act? What would you want? Um, and figuring all that out is a fun puzzle for me. I love that. I find all of that very satisfying, right? That's part of, I think, why I do so well, um, with this game is I, I truly enjoy that piece of the puzzle. So... Leverage your empathy. Long story short, that's my answer. Leverage your empathy and um, figure out what they might want. And then figure out how to give it to them so that you get what you want. And never fucking compromise on what you want. Right? If you're talking about leadership, that's the thing, right? A good leader will inspire with passion because it's obvious that they love whatever it is. It's obvious that they're selfish. Right? They don't deny it. Like they have their goal in mind. I'm I'm selfish. I'm going to get this. And if you're not on my team, then you're in my way. Gorsi says, surely the first thing is getting to know them and how they tick. Yep. And how exactly what is expected from them, and then go from there. Bingo. How are you doing, Naticus? Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Green would like to give me cards in the pocket. Thanks, Green. How do you speed run getting suicide into? I will not. I'm going to let these guys hit each other. In fact, I'm going to win this game from Arabia. That's the, that's the stream you guys signed up for. We are winning this game from Arabia. Ultima says this leadership talk is just reminding me of the course I'm taking in stylizations of leadership and how different types of leadership influence different design groups or different groups. Yes. If someone's doing the bare minimum because they aren't getting paid enough, throwing money at them will only motivate them for so long until they want more money. That's right. Also, I would just like to say for the record that I'm actually not 
uh, all that useful of a guy to talk to about leadership. Uh, I actually think I'm a poor quality leader. I don't like managing people. Um, so it was a very fun surprise for me to realize that my true value, um, economically speaking, at least is, uh, as a creative rather than a manager. What a fucking fun. Oh, Max Lowell. How are you, Max? How you been, bro? Call this game the Aladdin hustle. Cause I'm from Arabia. Yes. Get ready, folks. Coming out of Agraba. Straight out of straight out of uh, medieval Islam's Agraba. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. I don't want fucking show tunes. Fuck off. This is what I want. Yes, Disney, but from my era. Not this fucking horseshit Disney you get now. We're changing up the vibe, folks. I know I say no show tunes. Hard no show tunes rule on the show. You know, if this guy really was in the stream, he could have had the good fucking courtesy to sue out before he quit. <sighs> Some people. I mean, really. Do we know how many troops next to the blizzard near modern day Suez? Nope. Do not care. I'm trading with green right now. Green and I are the hammies and black's the one who's card blocked. Black hit my fucking card taking stack. So now I take cards not around you. Too bad for me. All right. How many hours have been on risk? Uh, if it's three and a half hours, almost four hours on clock. We've been on for like about three hours. Uh, don't be mean to white like you always are. <laughs> I'm mean to everybody. Let's be fair. Uh, let me put on something that I want to listen to. What do we want to th uh, listen to? Right. It's like Nine Inch Nails. Do I like Nirvana? Not really. Uh, I like melody. I listen for melody. I find the melodic components of Nirvana to be very flat. You crank the volume. <laughs> My volume mix is for everyone's enjoyment, Ike. You want a little more tunes? Or you want the ratio between the voice and the music? Uh, I can't push it, though. It'll f*** up my, it'll f my balance, brother. You're on full? Here's just a little bit. Just a little bit. Can I get a bit more travel and tweet the lower? <laughs> Trust me, guys. You don't want me f***ing with my audio. <laughs> it took... <coughs> it took so much work to get this. To a place where everyone was happy and shut up and shut up about it. I can't even fucking tell you. It's a 27 stack uh, for the record. It's your own fault for playing decent tunes. Fair enough. I like what I like. How you doing, Max? Checking this followage, eh? I bet you 2021 is a lot more of a significant year for you than it is for me. Don't make me ping Drew and tell him to get in here to give you a hard time. <laughs> A bit of Chevelle? Yeah, they never caught me, but I know they don't suck. Drew hates you? Why? Do you dabble in any house music? I don't know it well. What turn is this game? <laughs> 59. He never responds to your DMs. That doesn't mean he hates you. It means he doesn't want to talk to you. Two different things. Sometimes you love talking to someone you hate. Anyway, killing green out of there and blocking white in. White's a bot, so... I'm working with green, hopefully, to kill black, I think. Pete was still in the glory hole phase. Yeah, Max knows me from back then. Max knows me from back in the day, man. 10 turns to go then until what? Turn 69. In fact, you used to be mod. No, you didn't. Nobody would make you a mod of anything. You were teeny bit inactive, yes. Because you had to, had to go on live your life, sir. All right, I have to turn the balance back. I'm, I'm sorry. We can't, we can't keep the balance off what it should be. Oh, shit. Yes, I was. Okay, you were. You like Velvet Revolver? Eh. I see, I've never been a Chris Cornell guy. I've always found Chris Cornell to be overrated, which I know is a big fucking issue for people. They're like, he's the best rock vocalist of all time. I was like, is he though? Is he? There have been a number of controversial takes on this stream, okay? Me saying Deep Space Nine better than Next Gen? I blame the rum drinks. Yes, he is, exactly. I have I've heard it said. Let me ask you this, Nixon Plummer. Do you also think that uh what's his fucking name? 
Um, oh God, what's his fucking name? Do you also think that Bob Dylan is uh, uh, one of the the greatest folk musicians and uh, fo folk singer songwriters in history? Do you notice that I'm at 99.9? .9? Yes, I do, Max. Yes, I do. We're very close. But we're not going to make it tonight. It'll have to be tomorrow when we cross the line. Oh, Chris Cornell's Canadian? I didn't know that. Freddie Mercury, yes. I mean, very talented. Wait a minute. We killed Black. Good game, man. Are you dead? Yeah? GG. Uh, it was the yawning. Okay. GG, brother. Phew. It's not a good roll. There's no way I can get baited, unless Black fed himself to green. If Black fed himself to green, then I got baited, but that's fine. That's the only circumstance where I would have... No, he's just letting me win, GG. <laughs> green could be a masturbator, it's true. Killing white. Green wants second. Why is green trolling? Because I'm live on Twitch, my friend. At least this way it gets to YouTube, right? Eh, we don't know. It's okay. Who is sus? I think everyone has been sus, frankly. I think all three of these guys, green, white, and black, were all fucking super sus. Playing favorably, like they were in my favor. They were sus in my favor, like helping me win the game and shit, where I didn't really deserve deserve to. All right, what do we think's on the back white cap? Not a white cap. It's a green cap. Yeah, if they wanted to try, they could drag it out. I don't think they want to drag it out. Doesn't seem to be what they want to do. GG, man. Hello there. Uh, what do you think of Dream Theater? I love Dream Theater. You guys know Liquid Tension? This will be a fun one to end. So Liquid Tension is uh, three quarters of Dream Theater plus the basis of Kim Crimson. Um, no vocals. It's a four piece. Guitar, drums, bass, and keys. This is four guys making this sound. It's quite something to... If you like, if you like prog rock... He's like, let's go. <laughs> yeah, brother. <laughs> Chucky, Chucky she says, I don't play for wanting this to be done. I played some long ass games and stand on to finish one like this with a big bot isn't something people have. Hey, dude, I get it. I'm the one who's sitting here getting to talk to 200 people and listen to fun tunes and enjoy a beverage. <laughs> this guy's all by his lonesome. <laughs> 35. You thought I only listened to Jute? Nice. <laughs> Liquid tension reminds me of diarrhea. <laughs> no, that's surface tension. Oh, whoops. I misfortified. I don't think green cares. No, I didn't mean to miss a capital, but I don't think it matters, right? I don't think we're playing a a real finish anymore. We're playing a finish where green is suiciding into white to give me the win. I think I'd probably care more if it was a real game. Hello there! I think that game was lame. Well, I, I, I'll tell you what. 
I think that if I go live and have a game that's lame and get in a bad mood about it, I think that's worse. So if the outcome of the game is not as great as on YouTube, that's not really up to me anymore. This is the type of game I seem to get these days. But I hear you, man. I would love to get a fair game. Fucking bot takes my calf off. Fucking bot. Is Green really suiciding or is he making you think he's suiciding? So you make mistakes that he can... Well, let's find out, right? If he snags... If he snags a win in the end, I will be made to feel like quite the fool. If I ever match with you, I will press the stream away. Well, how about just don't play me when I'm live and then you're not cheating and maybe we match one day in a tournament, in pubs, right? I play a lot of this shit in pubs. So if you play a lot of this shit in pubs, you might find me. <laughs> And I wish you the best of luck, bro. What's up, Sleepy Bean? I watch your YouTube. I just started to play Rust because of you, and it's really nice to play. Welcome in, man. At what point would watching the stream change anything? The whole time. The, it's not only the watching Warwick. It's also the rain. It's also the the asymmetry of goals. Okay, in free for all. If if every player in a free-for-all game is playing to win, then it's a fair game, right? If any player in a free-for-all game is no longer playing to win, but instead playing to affect the outcome in some other way, the entire game is now unfair and different sh matters, right? So that's a very important consideration. Is on like, and I understand that fairness isn't really a thing that you guys spend a ton of time or energy wasting your thoughts on, right? But I definitely do for obvious reasons. Uh, who do you think is your hardest opponent you've ever faced and beaten? Arco, he's beaten me a bunch too. Arco, I think Arco is the best wrist player in the world, and I think the saber system agrees. Arco, I love this ending. Yes, he does. Arco Risk on, on YouTube. Probably youtube.com slash Arco Risk. Um, funny, funny enough, he looks like this. Tony Levin, yeah. Tony Levin's the bassist. You haven't beaten me. James won Arco Zero. <laughs> you want to get in a game? Would Cap running screw up his placement? Well, no, I'll give him. I'll give him a second. He's helping me kill the bot. Don't worry, it's almost over. My motivation for playing is kind of gone, but I enjoy watching. Good enough, man. But however you enjoy the show. Open says, "I love how the best wrist player in the world is also one of the nicest and funniest people in the community. He's really got it all." Well, there you are. Shouldn't surprise anybody too too much that there's some overlap in. Uh, this game is a people game, right? If you want to be the top of risk. Talk about empathy, skill, psychology, right? You got to master your own psychology to master others. And I don't even presume to master my own. My fucking brain, my brain is a mess, guys. Always. It's a big fucking mess. Sounds <laughs> like what a psycho would say. Bingo. Well, you're... Hey, Titan, you want to hear some really bad news? If I'm a psycho, you're sitting here watching me. <laughs> I got, I got bad, bad news for you. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> Sorry to bust your bubble. He's like, what does that make me? A cool dude. It makes you a cool dude. Can we like actually go into this 1v1 kind of fair? Should I try? No, I shouldn't throw. Shouldn't throw the game, right? That would be dumb. Don't do it, Pete. Don't give him a fair fight. He doesn't deserve it. No! I saw a fucking massive advantage here. GG, bro. Yeah, you're welcome.
<laughs> I'm curious, Pete. Uh, how long was your Hannah Montana phase, and did you ever leave it? What is my Hannah Montana phase? Yes, this is the end of the bad cap game. <laughs> oh, what is that, Becky? With the kid? Oh, he sets himself in a way that I can't even get the world, Tom. We show the respect of the Caps victory, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. We win with an asterisk, but we win the sh Cap Challenge, folks. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Defeating. Oh, yeah. Maya, beginner, my ass. Fucking begin beginners defeating two liars. <laughs> two dirty, dirty liars. <laughs> one intermediate, one beginner, and a master, folks. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time. For all of you on the path to world domination. Good games and good luck.